day. That's my duvet day. How was I your love mom? it. Sorry? How was your mom? How's my mom? Oh, for, oh, I love this. Look at this, the Irish accent. I mean, she's great. She said, it's great to talk to you, Chris. Congrats on the movie. Hey, thank you so much. Um, let's start off with like Garfield himself and Chris Pratt. So I'm kind of wondering, is there any crossover? If you did a Venn diagram, is there like, do you know what I mean? Do you see any similarities between the two of you at all? Oh, definitely. Most certainly. In seasons of my life, I've been more Garfield than I have been probably recently. Um, you know, I've become more pampered and more of an indoor cat as of late, but I don't have quite the appetite that I once did. So early in my life, I was the same hunger level and appetite and laziness level as Garfield, but I was more of an outdoor cat. And now yeah. I'm more of an indoor cat, but I keep it tight, so. But do you ever let yourself, do you say that's kind of in the past, like in Ireland, I was watching the movie, I think we all have a Garfield day here and there. Do you know what I mean? Like we call it a duvet day, I think in Ireland, where you take the duvet from the bed, you bring it to the sofa, you order takeout, and you're there for the day watching the, the TV. Do you oh, yeah. have duvet days? I have duvet days, yes. Periodically. When I fit them into my schedule, we call them cheat days or cheat meals or cheat windows. I once had a trainer tell me, in, you can't do en enough damage to your body in three hours you can eat as much or drink as much as you want in three hours and it's not going to throw you off. And I've always tested that theory and, and I've proven him wrong on multiple occasions. I can hammer some stuff down and I'll put myself in a diabetic coma in three hours. I'll eat 14 birthday cakes, two pizzas, lasagna. I just stuff it in. And uh, yeah, that's my cheat day. That's my duvet day. How was I your love mom? it. Sorry. How was your mom? How's my mom? Oh, for, oh, I love this. Look at this, the Irish accent. I mean, she's great. She's out down the road. <laughs> I love it. You have to come and see her sometimes. You'd love to see her. Um, I love actually speaking to parents and stuff. I love the father and son relationship being front and center in this movie. I mean, this movie has a lot of heart. I mean, Garfield's dad's trying to protect him. And like we all, people with kids like myself, yourself, we're all trying to protect our kids. Did you relate to the characters and characters in, in that way? Because you're a megastar. You've got to deal with protecting your kids from fame and all sorts. Oh, wow. That's a really, that's a really deep question. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think I can identify myself a little bit in in uh, in Vic, who's this s scruffy street cat played by Samuel L. Jackson. Um, maybe you know, in trying to, <laughs> my children are pampered like Garfield, and so periodically I am trying to nudge them out of that into sort of a, an epic outdoor adventure, whether it be out camping around the woods and stuff like that. So in that regard, I could, I could see that, but yeah, we're always all trying to protect our children from, from as much as possible. And, and uh, yeah, it is a beautiful relationship. Uh, the relationship between Garfield and his, un his biological father unexpectedly shows up out of nowhere. And um, it's nice to, to, to understand that origin. And when, of course you're making a 90 minute movie, you need to depart from, the comic strip because a comic strip is doesn't last 90 minutes you need to have heart and soul and relationships and that's the the uh direction that this production has taken is understanding the origin of garfield and what makes him who he is and how he becomes a pampered indoor cat but then pulled into this outdoor adventure yeah well listen it's been a pleasure to talk to you chris thanks so much and congratulations on the movie i loved it hey thanks a lot thanks have a good day i will i will i'm out of many of them Three-hour window, I'm going to use that one. Yeah, yeah, duvet, <laughs> three, duvet window. I love it.